Hey everybody, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. We're a furniture flipping family located in the heart of Texas. We began our flipping adventure last April when my husband lost his job as a way to keep a roof over our head. And we've been flipping furniture ever since. Today I'm showing you how we did a DIY custom order flip on a kitchen table that had already been painted years ago. And as you're about to see, this baby needed a whole lot of updating. So come along with me to the garage and we'll show you what we did. So here's our starting point. This guy had already been painted in some white latex paint years ago and it definitely is time for a makeover. First, let's get these seat cushions off so we can clean them really well and give them all new fabric. Next, we'll give the piece a really good scrub. I love to use crud cutter on all my projects. It just really helps take off any grease or grime that's left behind on the furniture pieces. And when you're doing chairs, you really wanna make sure that you get into all the crevices because there's always lots of food left behind. Next, everything's gonna get a good scuff sand with my favorite surf prep sander and a 220 grit sandpaper. Okay guys, attempt number one to get this old latex paint off. We tried sanding it first and we were just getting nowhere really fast. It just gunked up the sander a lot and didn't really make much progress. So that didn't work. And we're on to attempt number two to get this old latex paint off. I picked up some stripper from my local hardware store. They were out of my favorite orange citrus strip, so I had to use this instead. Followed all the manufacturer's directions, put on a thick coat, and did not let it dry before I started stripping this away. And you'll see what happens next. I had to take a moment to interrupt this video to share our very exciting news. When Chris lost his job at the beginning of 2020, we thought for sure that our Dave Ramsey baby steps were going to be derailed on our goal to become debt free within the next two years. But thankfully, with a whole lot of prayer, heart and hustle, we were able to meet our goals in only 18 months all with the help of flipping furniture. Who would have guessed that this little side hustle would have helped us reach our dreams so quickly? So we thank you so much for being a part of our journey. And if you've happened to pick up a piece from us in the last year or so, we are so grateful for your support and happy to share our Dave Ramsey debt-free scream here on our YouTube channel. Thanks guys. Okay, here we go with attempt number three. So the stripper didn't come off by itself. I ended up grabbing my heat gun and just setting it at a temperature that was a little lower than my hair dryer, honestly, just to sort of reactivate the stripper. Uh, it dried really quickly, which was strange. So I kind of just gave it just a little bit of a warm up and then it started to peel off. Oh my goodness, you guys, and we are finally sanding once again. We deactivated the chemical stripper with a little bit of mineral spirits and some steel wool. And then once that dried completely, we were able to start sanding and it actually came off really quickly. Ah yes, there's that beautiful wood table that we were after. Do you see all those gorgeous details in the wood? This was such a pretty table to work on. Next, we're gonna spray the table and we're going to use Sherwin-Williams chalk paint in the color Delft. 
We load this into the top of our gravity fed HVLP sprayer and I like to add just a little bit of water just to cover the top of the paint to help it go through the gun a little smoother. You give it a good shake and then it's ready to go. Next, we'll apply the stain to this table. We used Minwax Provincial Stain on this tabletop. Just apply it according to the directions. You always want to apply it in the way that the grain is going first, and then let it sit for about two to three minutes and wipe it back off. go ahead and distress the details on the base of this table with my surf prep sander and a 220 grit sandpaper. Just want to sort of bring out the edges in this a little bit and give it a little bit of character. I only distressed the base of the table and around the rim I didn't distress the chairs. So you can see while I'm distressing this leg that we left the white paint, that latex paint, on the base of the table and it really helped bring out a lot of character when I went to distress because then I was getting a few layers, the white paint and the brown uh, wood underneath. It really added lots and lots of great character to this table. Now it's time to give these poor chairs some love. They got a brand new coat of paint. We used alabaster chalk paint from Sherwin-Williams and just refreshed the white all over. Top coat time. I love to use Verithane polyurethane on anything that I do that is white or light colors. Time to put the chairs back together. The new fabric on these chairs definitely helped tie everything together and gave it such a cute, updated look.
what did you guys think? Did you enjoy the finished product? Be sure to let me know in your comments down below and hit that subscribe button while you're there. It's free and it sure does keep me motivated to keep bringing you fresh new content each week. The hardest part of this flip was removing that old latex paint. After that, it was just a matter of blending the colors to flow with the chair fabric and voila, we had a beautiful new custom table. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade. Bye!